What's going on, Super Squad? Today we're going to be anodizing. I'm going to show you how we do lightning anodizing. It's super unique, really pretty, and I'm stoked to show you how we do it. Come with me. Let's get Welcome it. Welcome back, friends, and thank you so much for being here today. I'm so excited to have you on another Super Hat Cam Angle. We're going to be rocking out with this GR5 Pioneer DCS Cosmetic Handle. Again, this is a GR5 Titanium handle by DCS Cosmetics and Mirror Polish called the Pioneer. Very nice handle, and what we're gonna be doing today is adding a lightning anodization to it for a little bit of fun and flair. And keep in mind, this is a purely aesthetic thing, and it's just for fun. What it's gonna do is it's gonna create some color shifts, and then we're gonna add some lightning strikes through it using ferric chloride. It's gonna be a chemical reaction, and it should be really cool when the project's done. And again, I'm really excited to have you here if you haven't, Please go below and smash that like and sub button and let's get started. I'm thrilled. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys about what I've learned with anodizing products. So first and foremost, my first attempt, my first video, we used rust wrinkle remover. And this is a great pro product, guys, if you're trying to remove problems on your surface. Now, if you don't have problems on your surface or your product's never been anodized, or you don't wanna you know, strip the product down, don't use this. This is not necessary. So today we're not using it. What we're gonna use instead is Ferric chloride, this is a copper etching agent, but what happens is if you stick your hot titanium product into it, it will cause lightning effects. Now, if you go in really fast, it causes streaks, and if you go in slow and, and quench it nice and slowly, you get waves of white lines and colors. So today we're gonna go fast, and we're gonna attempt to go for that lightning look. I'm really excited, so that, that's, that's really the only product we're gonna need other than distilled water. You're gonna need some of this to get your uh, product, uh, you know, to uh, quench it off. And then you're also gonna need matte gas. Now keep in mind, matte gas is yellow and it's going to allow your titanium product to heat up and get to the right temperature to actually be anodized. What we're gonna go for is some blues, some purples, and some greens, and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna grab ourselves a little bit of cotton ball and a little bit of ISO, because in my first video, I did not do this correctly. And I wanna showcase this. I did not do it correctly. So we're gonna grab that isopropyl and I wanna show you guys this. We're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna set it clear away from the blowtorch. I did not do that before and that is not proper safety. Please, if you're gonna do this, exercise pr proper safety. I appreciate everybody out there that mentioned that my lid was not closed. I cannot believe that. I was really excited my first attempt and I definitely was not doing it perfect. So we're going to just get this product nice and cleaned off using the um, isopropyl and get it ready. Then what I've done is I've threaded a screw to this uh, um, handle like this, and we're gonna use a pair of pliers to hold it. In my first video, I was holding this little copper wire, like or a titanium wire like this, and that works great. It's an awesome, awesome way to do things. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't, it, you can't, it's not really easy to get around, so we're gonna use these and then use this to quench. We're gonna see how that works today. I'm really excited. Okay, we're gonna grab ourselves our blowtorch, and I'm actually going to sit, again, get rid of anything isopropyl related, Okay, we're gonna set that away from the product. We are have a safe space. Keep in mind, my first video, I had a lot going on and I had uh, yellow towels here. The yellow towels ended up melting and it was not a good situation. So definitely keep yellow and um, plastic towels away from your product space. And last time I didn't use the gloves that I sat out. Today we're gonna use the gloves I sat out, right? That's really important to use the gloves. I think I can, I think we're just gonna use the one. I think one glove makes the most sense. We're gonna grab it like this. And like this is how I've been um, anodizing recently. Now, something I've been doing is I take my product and I actually anodize over a safe space. So if this were to drop right now, it's going into a safe space versus you know onto a foot or something like that. Keep in mind, this is gonna get very, very, very hot very quickly. And so you wanna have a way to be able to quickly uh, d uh, disable the, the danger. So we're gonna get our product, our blowtorch, which I have on an uh, external um, handle here, which I think is really nice, makes for really easy anodization. And we're just gonna start. We're gonna just turn it up to a medium, and we're gonna go for it. You can see, we're getting yellow up top. You see that yellow? You can actually see the yellow, right? Yellow starting up top. Let's bring that yellow all the way down. And here's something that's really important. As you're working, that metal is going to continue to heat. 
So once you start seeing color, go away from that area because you wanna make sure that um, you're not going to go super hot with residual heat as you're heating up your product. Oh yeah, that yellow is looking great. You can see that goldish yellow. And I've actually stopped there a few times and I've, I've, I've left it that way. And I think that, that yellow is really pretty. The base on, the, on these handles seems to be harder to heat up for some reason. And so I, I usually try to start with a base and the top part. I think it's thicker in those areas for some reason. Oh yeah, so right now we're at full, you guys see this? We have full gold, we're full gold, that yellow gold. We're gonna go one color up. You see that beautiful gold? Now what happens is if, if we had this like this, it's like Iron Man color, right? If you stuck this in the water right this moment, it would actually stay this color. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up one higher color. And stick it in the ferric oxide, or ferric chloride, excuse me, instead to give it that uh, lightning effect. This is so cool, I love the gold. I think the gold is absolutely beautiful. Oh, can you guys see this? If you're not watching this and loving it, there's something wrong. Go back, do something different that day because this is so cool. Oh, love this. Being an adult does not suck. This is so much fun. Keep in mind, again, we are exercising proper protocol and safety measures. We are using a uh, blowtorch glove. And one thing I didn't mention that I want to mention is you want to use, um, you want to use br uh, proper breathing apparatuses when sticking things in ferric chloride because it can produce a deadly uh, kind of fumes. It's a bad, bad, bad fumes, guys. Bad fumes. Woo! This is some leprechaun gold right here, though. Look at this. Oh, we're going slow with it. I know we're going slow with it. Leprechaun gold. I promise though it makes more sense to go slow with these projects like this than it does to try to heat up one area and, and be done with the project really fast. And again, I'm heating this up over the water on purpose. That allows me to be safe and not have anything fall on a foot. You can see we're getting purple on the bottom. So that is kind of dangerous because we don't want um, to heat up one area so fast that the others don't have time to heat up. But you can see this up top is starting to go that purple tint that we're kind of looking for. Purples and blues. And purple, blue is gonna come after purple and it's gonna come quickly. For all of you out there that want purple, I know purple and blue tend to be the colors everybody kind of wants. It's gonna happen very freaking quickly. So don't blow through purple and blue really fast if that's what you're looking for. Man, I love the gold. You seen this? Take a look. Oh, it looks so good. That purple's coming through. Woohoo! And again, we're trying to get that uniform color. Uniform color is way more difficult to do, I promise. The uniform color takes a lot of patience and definitely a lot of uh, effort. A little bit, not a lot of effort, a lot more effort than just going, you know, random colors. Gotta get this side other better, a little bit better. y'all seeing this make sure y'all are seeing this this is nonsense come on go purple we 
go. I think I got the top. It may have been a little heavy, uh, um, heavy handed on the top. Okay, we gotta get this part right here. This is where it gets technical. It gets really technical because you don't want to go too hot because then you'll go right through the blue and the purple. Getting kind of sketchy on my hand hold. My hand's getting tired. We're almost there though. Come on, Zooms! Rut row, right? Rut row, zoinks! Look at that, guys! Look at it! Tell me that is not awesome. Tell me that doesn't look as amazing as you could have imagined. Woo! Look at this! Look at it! Just look at it! It looks so good! Oh, it looks, it looks amazing. I won't even lie to you. It looks as good as it does on camera. Woo! It looks probably better in person. Everyone's like, oh, this is sweet! I know I am. I know I am loving it. Like I said, going with that purple. Okay, we're gonna click it off. That is it. I wanna show you guys this. That is it. Look. Look at what we've just done. Look at what we've just done. Okay, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna stick it in here. And then we're gonna take it and throw it in the water. Weird. We are all cleaned up after the ferric oxide wash off. I wanted to mention, you guys saw it, it kind of went yellow throughout the entire um, product after I dipped it. And the reason why is this is a very, very viscous, um, very uh, yellow uh, product. But once I washed it off in the distilled water, I stuck it and cooled it off. I then went and washed it off in the sink and this is the result. Take a look at the lightning streaks through the finish here. You see those lightning streaks? And I go all the way through that product. And I wanna show you guys this. I'm gonna do my best to get it on camera. Take a look at the transitions and the lightning strikes. Really cool, very fun, and very easy to do. Thank you so much again for joining me for the video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subi Shaves, out.